Dreamhouse Biodigesters, constructors of biodegradable waste biodigesters and general biodigester education right here in Accra, Ghana. This is a quick video just to explain to you or give you a simple trick when you are constructing a biodigester and then you are connecting it to a so-called pit. Remember, we have the two different types or the three different types of soakaways that you can use for your biodigester. So basically, you do have the traditional so-called pit and then you have the connection to a traditional soakaway and then obviously the one that you can connect to a gutter or a drainage system. So right now, I'm at the site working and I thought that let me just come and do this video and show you a simple trick that I've realized and I'm, I'm using in terms of constructing the so-called pit for the biodigester. So usually what happens is that if you do a biodigester for a house and the land is good, it's loomy, it's not clay, it's not waterlogged, it's on a hilltop and it's all a mountainous area and then there's a lot of rocks and then you can work well, you can simply do a so-called pit for the digester. A so-called pit is the one that you have to put the stones in it and then use a rubber or carpet to cover the top before the sun goes on it. And it's hidden and it's buried under the earth surface and then the leche pipe will be connected into it. So in this case, what it means is that the water from the digester goes through the leche pipe into the so-called pit. And then because you are putting some stones and some blocks, broken blocks in it, it will help seep the water slowly into the earth surface and then the digester will work fine right so the remember that's how we learn how to construct a biodigester and there are some cases that it will not work so if it's not going to work for you it means that you need a traditional soak away or you need to have it pumped out in the soak away or you need to have it connected to a drainage system which is for a longer use but there are some situations that you meet and then the digester is only for one toilet or it's for only one or two people use and then the land is also good as well instead of having an additional cost of constructing a traditional soak away you can do the soak hole pit for the person so in this case what i've realized and what i do now is i put a vent cap at the end of the leche pipe or the four inch pipe that leads into the soak hole pit so that dirt and debris will not enter and block the wastewater or the black water from entering the soak away or the soak hole pit that i've dug usually what happens is that after some time, four or five years, six years, depending on the users or the capacity of the people who are using the, the register, it gets choked because sometimes you do pavement on that place or you do some tiling there and then you cover it and it's underneath the earth and at a time will come probably some debris and things will enter it and then it gets choked. But in this case, when you do construct the soak hole pit, just get the a vent cap, the, either the four inch pipe vent cap or the three inch pipe vent cap, depending on which one you're using, as your shape pipe. And then you put it at the end of it and then you lay it into the soak hole pit before you put the stones around it with the stones under it and some on it and then you put the rubber on it nicely and then you cover it what it does is that it guarantees the long-term use of this particular soak hole pit and then your digester is guaranteed for a longer use for you and the client or the homeowner you are doing this particular bio digester for this is a channel dedicated to the construction of biodigesters and for homeowners who are interested in using it as an option, as a means in terms of managing their human waste water. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And the next video showing will give you a better idea and understanding of how biodigesters work and how you can use it as an option in managing your home and your wastewater.